Hi there, my name is Candace Pierce and I wanted to take a second to introduce myself and tell you guys a bit more about me and share a little about my studio and works that I have going on. I am originally from Georgia, but I've been in Texas, specifically in Austin for a little over 10 years now. And I've been excited to see how this city's grown and I'm definitely excited to see where it goes. I'm really grateful for the community of artists that we have here in town. I often have taken classes at Laguna Gloria and find so much so much inspiration there and also at the East Austin Studio Tour, which I have gone to as a guest and this year we'll be participating as an artist for the first time. I cannot wait for that show to start. I've got all the feelings about it. Uh, I am a graduate of the Savannah College of Art and Design. I do have a degree in interiors from there. Uh, I do practice interior design, um, have for about 14 years now commercially, and will probably continue to do so in some capacity. But uh, like many of you, I was affected this year with a furlough and I'm currently still on furlough. So a few months ago, I thought to myself, you know what, you have always been at your happiest uh, during you know, times when you were pursuing art or developing art in some capacity. So why not take that opportunity? So, so here I am. I have built a website. Please check it out. It's called pierceandpaint.com. I have just finished a studio at home before I was in my dining room slash laundry room slash every room in the house that you don't have room for. So I am pretty pumped to be in my own space and can't wait to see what I can create out here. We did build everything ourselves. This uh, was a shed. Technically, it's still a shed, um, but you know, it wasn't much more than studs and a roof. And now it's this place that I can come and it just feels like a little oasis. And I love being surrounded by my work. Um, you'll see some of that behind me. I have really focused on a lot of commission work this year, mostly portraits of pups and different family members for folks. And, you know, I've really felt connected to a lot of the work because you hear all these great stories and you find out why something is special to someone and you know you stare at something for five six seven hours and you just you feel like you've got a little bit of a connection with them so i do hope that all of these become kind of cherished family heirlooms i selfishly always wanted to have a wall full of family portraits and one day I'm going to make that happen and, and take a little time for myself to do that. But in the meantime, this has been tons of fun. Uh, one other exciting thing that I want to now announce is that I am starting a an oil painting series that will be focused mainly on West Texas or Southwestern U.S. Um, landscapes. And I have one that you'll see in the tour in a bit that is a work in progress. It's just got the underpainting on, but I am excited that I've been able to start my first painting in the studio and I just can't wait to see the rest of them, hopefully all together in one place and just you know see how they, how they look. I did mention that I have a website, uh, pierceandpaint.com earlier, and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of the backstory on the logo with that. Pierce and Paint is a throwback to my dad's current business that he has in Georgia called Pierce Paint and Body. I wanted to continue the name and just, you know, throw something out there that was related to my family because my family's my rock and I am just grateful for them. I, you know, a lot of the opportunities I've had in life have been because of them and their constant support even to this day. So that was special to me to include. And then I also included a horseshoe because while I love the fact that horseshoes mean good luck, they also, to me, have a little bit of a personal connection because I grew up going to a tiny little lake house in the middle of nowhere. And, you know, there wasn't much to do there other than, you know, hang out with family, read a book, or play horseshoes. So we spent a lot of time as a family, you know, a little friendly, competitive game of horseshoe. And I still try to go back once a year, hopefully the 4th of July for the fireworks. And, you know, play a good old game of horseshoes. And the second reason that I chose to include a horseshoe was because my granddad was actually a horseshoe champion back in his day and we still play with his horseshoes at the lake. 
So, anyways, as you'll see, a lot of the stuff on my website has to do with family. So, a lot of my work has to do with someone else's family, and it just all seems to tie together. And I just get a lot of joy from either creating something for my family or someone else's. Uh, most of my work this year has been commissioned, like I said, uh, but I will be taking on, you know, paintings coming up soon. I do hope to learn how to create prints. I've started to dabble with that and plan to take a class soon so I can try to reach a broader audience. And so, so stay tuned. Um, probably we'll have an Etsy shop or possibly a shopping option on my website to be determined. And I, I welcome all advice on that if you're an artist in Austin and want, want to share something. Um, so now I think I'm going to take you guys around the studio, give you a little spin around, you can see what's happening, but if you ever do have questions about studio or art and want to chat, continue a conversation, I would welcome any dialogue. I do hope to continue to build relationships with other artists in Austin and hopefully beyond and definitely hope to find some collectors over time. Um, so yeah, reach out. Don't be a stranger and thank you for your time.